Hey Capricorn, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, May 28th to Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. Now what we've got going on this week is the sun hanging out right here in Gemini, which for you is your sixth house of your job uh, and of your daily routines and also of your health. So I think what you're thinking about this week and will be for the next few weeks while the sun is in Gemini is going to be about what you do on the day to day, what your daily routines look like, your health, um, dealing with some of those issues. Okay, now on Monday and Tuesday, the sun in Gemini makes a very pretty sextile over here to the North Node. And the North Node for you is in your 8th house of changes and of endings and beginnings. So there could be some changes maybe that occur this week in your job, in your daily routine, so that you can do more of what it is that you want, more of what really resonates with you on the day to day that I think will be a good thing. And I think for the beginning of the week, you're really trying to think, to communicate, to work out in your mind what you want your job, your daily routines, and your health to be like, so that you can then bring, hopefully, more of the good stuff <laughs> uh, into your life, all right? Um, so that's what I see going on there. While that's happening on Tuesday, we also do have a full moon right here in Sagittarius, which for you rules your 12th house of your insides, of your spirituality, and of your past. So I think what's going on on Tuesday is that you are maybe... Um, completing a chapter perhaps from the past <laughs> maybe you're even stepping into something from the past bringing it forward into a new chapter <laughs> uh, perhaps that can come in with this uh, maybe as well uh, what are you trying to do um, to bring more emotional comfort into your life and to figure out what's really going on inside you I think that's what's happening at this full moon um, and I think what you're trying to do is take what's inside you or take something from the past that hopefully you feel much better about and start to live it on the day to day to integrate it into your life so that you can finally start to have here a better job and a better set of daily routines that really resonates with you internally that it is that you're trying to work out and just trying to make sure that you're doing what really resonates with you internally so that you can move forward making the changes to your job to your daily routines in a way that you really like okay so that's what i see at the beginning of this week um, then as we move further through the week on Wednesday and Thursday, we get Mercury also moving into Gemini in your sixth house, making a very pretty sextile over to Chiron in Aries, which is in your fourth house of your home and of your family. Um, and what I think that can bring on Wednesday and Thursday is hopefully a chance for you to start to feel uh, much better about your job emotionally, to start to feel like you finally have a set of daily routines that you like. I think that's been a big thing that I've been saying so far. Could also give you a chance here with the fourth house with your home to work better with your home and your job, to have better work-life balance possibly, um, to have a set a job or a set of daily routines that allows you to maybe work better with your family, to spend more time at home. Or maybe you start to use your home in a more positive way to create more of a job or a daily routine that it is that you like. Okay, perhaps that's been a little bit hard for you lately, maybe uncomfortable about your home, feeling like you don't have the security, the comfort in your life that it is that you want. And I think this week, by you trying to have a job or a set of daily routines that really resonates with you internally, um, really helping you hopefully to resolve some of the problems that may have come up with your home, with your family, and emotionally, so that you can start to feel like you're building a foundation in your life, doing something on the day-to-day -day that is better for you. Okay, so that's what's going on on Wednesday and Thursday. Then on Friday, we get Mercury and Gemini here in a trine with Mars in Aquarius, which rules your second house of money, also of confidence and of your gifts and skills and talents. So what that could bring, of course, with Mercury involved, the end of this week are lots of conversations, conversations about money, about how you can make money at your job, how you can be more confident on the day to day, how you can have a job or a set of daily routines that uses more of your unique talents. <laughs> Um, or maybe even how to improve your health, how to use your money in a more positive way to become healthier. Um, so I think there's a lot of that that can go on on Friday. I do see it being positive with this being a trine. Um, I think now that you're changing your job, perhaps to hopefully um, build your life on a foundation, doing something on the day-to-day -day that really resonates with you, maybe you now have to settle into, be more confident with this job, <laughs> with this life you're now creating. Maybe you have to figure out how you can use your money or make money from this job as well that can set you up the best 
for success in the future to do more of what you really want that starts to come in this weekend okay i don't see it being bad but i do see there being a lot of stuff in the mind just trying to work out to get comfortable now uh, with this life you're creating then the last thing I want to mention is going to happen on the weekend, around Saturday. And on Saturday, uh, what we're going to have is Venus um, in Cancer make, and, and making a very pretty aspect here to both Jupiter and to Neptune, making trines to both of these planets. And Jupiter and Neptune are in a trine with each other, which is going to make a grand water trine this weekend. You're an earth sign, so you do very well with water. I think this will be a very pretty trine that I like to think will benefit you um, on Saturday. Okay, what this is going to mean specifically for you is going to have to do where Venus is in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships of the one-on-one -on -one variety. Jupiter here in your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes to the future, as well as Neptune in your third house of talk and communication. So I think what that can help you do in the weekend is to communicate with your relationships in a better way about your goals, about where you see your life going, about what it is that you ultimately want for your life, that you need to feel more inspired about your future. Okay, and I do see it being very, very positive. Perhaps it's been hard for you to communicate. It's been confusing for you to communicate about what you really want, about what's really going on inside you lately, about where you see your life going. And I think this week you do have a chance to start to open up a little bit more with the people in your life about uh, what's important for you to let people in on <laughs> what you're thinking um, so that other people can help you to finally move forward here, creating this life, doing something that you really want um, in a much more stable and secure way. All right. So that's what I see going on for you, Capricorn. I don't know. I like this week. <laughs> um, I think it's, uh, uh, there are some good opportunities here to make more sense of what's been going on in our life lately <laughs> and feel better about it. Now your card Capricorn is the Empress reversed. This card to me definitely indicates um, an, a lack, not nurturing yourself emotionally um, comes in. You know, the Empress upright is very creative, very loving, very caring. She wants to make sure that everyone around her is okay. To me, this is a Cancer card and Venus isn't Cancer. And Venus is on this card. Um, so I think there are some things that could come up this week where maybe you're not paying attention to your own feelings or maybe you're not paying attention attention to the feelings of the other people in your life. I know that you as a Capricorn like to get things done, like to make things happen. Things have to have purpose and reason and we got things to do. And I think this week this card is saying in order for you to do the things that you want and need to accomplish to have a life that really resonates with you, you need to make sure everyone else is okay in your life, <laughs> um, to have the relationships that can help you. And you also need to make sure that you emotionally are on board as well so that you don't leave part of yourself behind in search of some goal or some dream that is better for you, okay? And I think if you can do that, be more um, open to your feelings, be more accepting of your feelings of whatever comes up, pay attention to your feelings, and even let your mind um, kind of go with the spirit of the week, where your spirit takes you with this card. Um, I think you might be able to navigate this week a lot better and get some of like the real jewels that I think can be found within it, okay? So that's what I have for you this week, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later. Thank you.